So good evening and welcome to the Monday Masterclass, Monday Evening Yoga Masterclass. We're going to talk a little bit about um, how Ayurveda and yoga can help with menopause and hormone changes. So I took, I did some research this afternoon and I just want to mention that women are not the only ones that go through hormonal changes. A lot of times people think men don't go through them too. They absolutely do go through them. And then they have their whole set of issues, which I, I don't have time to go into. But so men also have hormonal issues as we get older, our home, hormones change in a pretty major way. So for women, we go through this natural process called menopause. And I want to just state that again, that it is natural. It is something that everybody's going to go through. All women will go through it. Okay. So uh, the, you know, a lot of times we are really trying to manage it with hormone replacement and things like that. And Ayurveda has definite ways of managing it. So first of all, anytime you're going through a change, any change, that's vata, okay? That means that vata is being pushed on. What is vata? Vata is about movement and expansion. So if you have too much vata, it will make you unstable. It will create a nervousness and anxiety, okay? So anytime there's changes, whether you're creating the changes by moving and changing jobs, bringing your mother-in-law in, whatever, those are changes, but internal changes, weather changes, environmental changes, those are all impacting us. Menopause is a major change because it means that the hormones that we normally receive are stopping. So the female hormones, what's happening is, is they're ceasing as the menstruation ends, then those hormones decrease and eventually they totally shift. You stop burning as many calories as well. So um, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I also wanted to mention that um, it's important for these hormones. These hormones keep our bones strong. So the constitutions that end up dealing with bone density issues are vata and pitta. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, because I keep talking about the Ayurvedic doshas, I really want to encourage you to look at what is Ayurveda and get an introduction of what it is and learn about Vata, Pitta, Kapha. What are they? So Vata, remember, is made up of ether and air. There's no container for Vata. Vata just moves. Okay. And then Pitta is made up of fire, right? So those two constitutions, people who have those dominant in their body, they're the ones that tend to have the bone issues, all right? So if you can incorporate these Ayurvedic suggestions, it can help with bone build, building of your bones, okay? So Ayurveda, first of all, suggests that all constitutions, um, for all women go through menopause, the symptoms are going to look a little different for vata, pitta, and kapha, okay? And we're going to go through them. But what Ayurveda wants to do is it wants to help us so that we can go through menopause with ease and grace and comfort. And for a lot of women, it is not comfortable. Um, it's often recommended that during this stage, no matter what your constitution is, if you're dealing with a lot of extreme menopause symptoms, that you then adopt what they call a vata pacifying lifestyle, okay? Lifestyle and diet. So you're gonna incorporate those because you need to be grounding, you need to be creating routine, and you need to be having more rest. It's a huge change. Also, um, supplementing is recommended, and the supplements that are most important is calcium, magnesium, and zinc. In Ayurveda, they recommend that you take them at night, okay? Because it will help with the menopausal sy symptoms as well as bone strength, okay? Most women will experience more of the menopausal symptoms at night, okay? So you wanna take those supplements at night. So in general, 
Um, the Ayurvedic approach to hormone imbalances and what menopause is, is to rejuvenate. You want to rejuvenate and balance the reproductive system and track. Okay. Menopause and hormone fluctuations is considered vata, just like I told you. And that means variable conditions. It's this, then it's that, then it's this, then it's that. The symptoms specifically are related to vata nervousness, insomnia, depression, and anxiety. I have a friend who um, her, her husband, his mother committed suicide during menopause because her symptoms were so extreme. So it, it can really be severe for some people. Um, also, you want to adjust to the Vata diet, Vata reducing diet. So we want to pacify, reduce the high Vata, right? So that means you avoid raw foods, you cook everything. You want to also make sure that you're not drinking anything cold, nothing iced, nothing cold. Everything is lukewarm or room temperature or even, you know, hot tea is fine. As long as you're not steeping it too long because you don't want to dry everything out. Um, also herbs that are helpful for hormone, hormone replacement include wild yam and shatavari. So shatavari is a go-to for all women going through menopause and they can be taken twice a day after lunch and after dinner with warm water. And also very, very helpful is aloe vera juice and because you can drink that. It's so nice. And you want to get the George's aloe vera juice because it tastes like water. It's not the other aloe vera juices can be pretty intense. So I like the George's because it tastes like water. Um, you can drink that through the entire menopausal stage, which can be for years. Okay. Herbs that are helpful for Vata include aloe vera gel, myrrh, shatavari, saffron, and ashwagandha. They do have specific ways of preparing the herbs. Um, reach out to me if you're interested in knowing that. Uh, Shavan Prush, which is that Ayurvedic jam that I talked about that when we talked about for headaches and migraines, Shavan Prush is a tonic. It's a rejuvenator. So you, if you have any depletion issues, it's kind of a go-to. You can really help build your ojas and your vital reserves. Okay. Um, also for pitta. So if you have more heat in your system, you tend to run hot anyway, and now you're in mon menopause. Those symptoms that you're going to have are going to include anger, irritability, impatience, hot flashes. So if you are experiencing hot flashes, that is a more pitta condition. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is a pitta reducing diet, pacifying pitta and lifestyle. You want to include herbs like aloe vera, shatavari, saffron. And again, um, there is a certain way of preparing those. You reach out to me. Hot flashes specifically though, you can take uh, one cup of pomegranate juice with a teaspoon of organic sugar, five to 10 drops of lime, and you can drink that two to three times a day or as much as possible. It's really, really helpful for the hot flashes, okay? It's a great formulation. I will post it on my, um, on my YouTube channel. And also, um, I'll try to get on, on my uh, website. Okay, uh, kapha. So kapha is earth and water. Kapha symptoms are a little bit different. It's more heavy fatigue, lethargy. And then um, people who have a little more kapha, they tend to gain weight during this time um, or become overweight. Uh, also water retention and swelling can happen. So you want to do a kapha reducing diet and lifestyle. And you wanna include herbs like ginger, googaloo and pipoli, which is like a pepper. Uh, then there's yoga postures. So we're going to be doing a yoga practice tonight that is actually a pitta reducing practice, but it is also postures that are beneficial for dealing with menopausal symptoms. And those postures include sun salutations that you want to do every day, at least 12 times in the morning. 
that's during kapha time. And those will strengthen the body in general, but you also want to strengthen the lower abdomen. So postures like lotus, locust, boat, and bow, and also rotation and twists. Leg lifts and knee to chest postures. Those are all beneficial for strengthening the lower abdomen and relieve pain. Also great for menstruation issues too. So if you are having menstruation issues, those postures help with that as well. Okay, so that is my talk for tonight and how Ayurveda deals with menopause. So a few helpful things there. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I definitely have my references. I will include those on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And my contact information will be on my YouTube channel, which is Aspired Elements. Okay, you guys, let's get started with our yoga practice for menopausal symptoms or a pitta-reducing practice. <laughs> 